Okay, what about shifting focus? Okay, the next few moments, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, I'm going to count one, two, three, and I will need all of you to close your eyes and just listen and follow me. All right? One, two, three. Imagine you are sitting by the beach under the tree reading your book. You are feeling relaxed, enjoy, feeling the wind. You can see kids playing with sand castle, people swimming, and you feel lighter. And you started to float higher and higher and higher. You realize you are flying. You feel free. You feel enjoy. You can even touch the sky, touch the clouds. After some time, you decide to descend. Slowly, you come down. Slowly, go back to that tree, sitting down, reading that book, enjoying that moment. Now, open your eyes. All right. What do you feel? You could share with me two or three words. Just chat. Uh, write down in the chat box what you feel through that short experience video together. Let's take about maybe 15, 20 seconds. Feeling like going for vacation. <laughs> All right, feel relaxed. Flying, interesting. Lights, oh, feel like Bali. Wow, okay. And imagine this. Are you really in Bali? Are you really flying at the moment? Chances are, no, right? But why you can feel that? And that is the beauty of our mind. Because our mind has this powerful ability to visualize and be flexible in this thinking. So, simply, when before my theater performances, because of anxiety, what I did, I would sit down sometime, about half an hour before the show, I, I will detach myself from the other actors, sit down, I visualize the whole scene, scene one, scene two, scene three, and it helped me to calm down. And this is actually based on a study done by psychologist Alan Richardson. What he did is he get three groups of basketball players. What he did, he get the first group to practice throwing free throws for, uh, for everybody for 20 days. And then for the second group, he said, don't practice, just visualize throwing. And the, th the third group, don't do anything. And after 20 days, he checked the result. The first group, the one who practiced, improved their skill by 24%. The second group did not practice, but visualizing it, improved by 23%. And then the last group didn't do anything, didn't improve at all. In fact, they did even worse than before. And what does it, what does it show? The powerful ability to visualize. This is very, very important thing. And the thing is we have it. And what do we do as a speaker? This is what we're going to do. We are going to focus instead of our anxiety, we want to focus on the audience. Because to me, speaking is a service. Make the audience a hero. We have the knowledge, we have the information. So shift that focus from the anxiety into the audience. That will help us to calm down. And that is lesson number two shifting focus.